So uh, some people are familiar with this and, and some people may not be, um, but um, Spider-Man actually had a live action television series that actually used to air in Japan. And actually a lot of the things that we understand as being quote on the Power Rangers, which in Japan, the original series was called Super Sentai. A lot of these concepts that were used to create the basis for Super Sentai were actually elements that were actually introduced in the Japanese Spider-Man television series. So what I've got displayed here on the screen that you can see, this is from marvelousnews.com. Um, I'm not going to put the link up just because um, we've been having some issues with that, with it clogging this, the streaming service. But if you go to uh, marvelousnews.com, uh, you can find this uh, article. There's probably other places where they're talking about this as well. But the thing that's really kind of cool and fun about this is they're making an action figure out of the Japanese Spider-Man, which I thought that was pretty fun. Um, he looks pretty cool. He's got the trappings of that particular version of, of Spider-Man. He's highly posable. Um, I just thought it was kind of fun. And I, I didn't know if uh, uh, the other fans here on the show were aware of it. Um, but uh, I thought this was I thought this was pretty cool. I thought this was pretty cool. Um, it makes heard... me wonder. It makes me wonder if uh, the rumors about the possible appearance of this version of Spider-Man in the second uh, Spider-Verse uh, film might might be true. This might be something to help us uh, help kind of re you know reintroduce the character to a lot of people that have no idea who he is or any of the history or anything like that, because it is kind of a bizarre story. Um, you know, for people that don't know, uh, essentially, uh, there was a, a, a Japanese company that licensed a bunch of Marvel properties. At the same time, Marvel was licensing a bunch of their properties. I think like the Shogun Warriors, things like that. Right, Dave? That's yeah. what, that was yeah. Marvel's. Exactly. That yeah. was what Marvel got out of the deal. And um, yeah, they, they the Japanese had their completely different version of Spider-Man, but he looked like Spider-Man, but totally different. Totally, totally different. But it, it's um, it's interesting to see them leaning into this, too, because for a lot of time, they just didn't really talk about it very much. It's like, oh, yeah, there was that thing, you know. But the most interesting part of this story, too, um, beyond the fact that they're making an action figure out of this, obviously, but the interesting thing, too, is that how, <clears throat> how this version of Spider-Man and them introducing these different elements with the giant robot and everything how the idea of a superhero with a transforming robot, how that leads us to Super Sentai and then gives us Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah. I just think that's yeah, there's, crazy. There's like a direct connection. Yeah. It's interesting. It is very interesting. Yeah. I, I would like um, to see a version of this in the in the next Spider-Verse movie. I, I think that would be really cool if they introduced him, reintroduced the character. And it would be really cool if they actually like, you know, came out you know, like on Disney plus with the, with the series, that would be really neat too. I know, I know part of the problem with this, this version is it's a rights issue. It's a rights right. problem. So it, right. it's a very unique, it's a very unique situation. It really is because essentially you have a, you have a licensed property where they made a completely different version of, of the same character. So it's kind of a unique thing. And, and uh, along these lines too, I want to mention just briefly along the, the lines of the idea of it being a unique thing. Um, for those of us that are fans of the Disney film, The Black Hole, um, just so uh, the, those of you who may or may not be watching right now or listening know, um, the Vincent and the Maximilian toys that Diamond Select released, um, I've heard from a lot of people that they're actually in Walgreens right now. Now, I don't want to encourage anyone to go out and get them right now with everything that's going on for obvious reasons. Um, but once we get on the other side, oh, of they might thing be, of Dave, stuff, they might be going to Walgreens anyway. So. That's true. <laughs> it is so a if, drug you, store. if you are going to Walgreens, <laughs> if you will peruse the toy aisle. If you're a fan of the Disney film, the black hole, um, the Vincent uh, robot and the Maximilian robot, they are, uh, my understanding is they're on shelves right now um, in, in Walgreens. Um, I've heard multiple reports. I haven't had it confirmed, um, uh, but um, I'm hearing that uh, that that they're that they're in stores. So, and that's I, and my understanding too is that beyond online retailers, that's the only place that you're going to be able to get them is actually in Walgreens. 
The difference is if you buy the Walgreens they're not gonna, version. They're not going to have them in Walmart? They're not going to have them in Walmart? No, no, I don't think they're going to. And, and like, for example, like the the direct retailer version, like if you buy from Entertainment Earth or some of the online retailers, if you had pre-ordered them, I might add, because I didn't pre-order them because I didn't want to spend the money because I'm cheap sometimes. I thought, well, when they actually come out, I'll, I'll get Vincent. I, I just kind of want to get Vincent. Um, although having Maximum would be fun too. But um, I I was just kind of waiting because I didn't want to spend the money. And but if you buy, if you had pre-ordered it from Entertainment Earth, the the Vincent from Entertainment Earth actually comes with Old Bob. They actually come as wow. a set. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah but really if cool. you but if you buy it from Walgreens, it's just Vincent or it's just Maximilian. So that's interesting. Yeah, I don't understand how that deal got done. Um, but I, I don't want to encourage people to go to Walgreens for this specific reason, but I want to make sure people are aware. Yeah, like I said, let's, let's be real for a second. They might be going to Walgreens anyway in, in, in the current state of things. So <laughs> it's not right, exactly so. out of the realm of possibility. You might need to go get a prescription at Walgreens right now. So, or, or for that yeah. matter over, over the counter medication. So that's true. That's true. So if you are already in the Walgreens, peruse the toilet aisle. Uh, my understanding is they should be out. Um, I, I like to make sure that the the collectors and the fans know about it because I'd rather a, a fan or a collector get it than someone who's just going to try and, you know, flip it on the internet. So, all right, very cool. So that's, I do have another uh, pop culture news item, but that's going to be it for my Spider-Man and my... Uh, and, and Peggy was thinking along the same line. She said she was going to say that. She said they might be going to Walgreens anyway. So. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Very true. Good, good observation. 